from KTRC. You're watching Local 2 News at 11. Well, joining the Army or becoming an astronaut, either one would be a highly respectable career path. Well, imagine doing both. Coming up next, the four soldier astronauts serving our country in war and in space exploration. Well, a lot of people don't know this, but four astronauts are also U.S. Army soldiers. Yeah, and one of them is actually part of the Endeavor crew that's getting ready to launch this weekend. Jay Gray reports on this elite group that's doing double duty as heroes and space explorers. Boost to ignition and liftoff. In what is already an exclusive club of American astronauts, they are an even rarer breed. Being an Army astronaut, yes, yeah, it's a little bit different. Currently, there are only four soldiers in the Army NASA detachment, trading the boots and guns of the Green Army for the back rooms at Johnson Space Center, learning to operate a robotic arm. Fatigues have given way to a full spacesuit, then six-hour training sessions underwater. It's a much different environment than their previous Army experience in the war zone. Space is literally a world away from the battlefields in Iraq and Afghanistan. But these Army astronauts are quick to point out, at their core, the two missions actually have a lot in common. In my mind, there's a very, very close connection because in both cases, they're really a team sport. Uh, if you're in the military, everybody has to do their job impeccably in order to succeed. And the same here at NASA. As soon as those engines light underneath you, uh, you're very, very thankful for the training. Colonel Doug Wheelock called on his Army training during a critical spacewalk to repair a torn solar array on the International Space Station. It would have been impossible for me had I not had my Army experience. An experience these soldiers are stretching to its limits at NASA. One of the prime missions of the, of the, of the, of the soldiers on the ground is to seize and hold the, the high ground. And uh, so it's the ultimate high ground. But even in orbit, they're never that far away from those still on the front lines. It's kind of a glamorous job to be able to go fly in space, but, but truly my heart is with all those soldiers and officers that are serving overseas, defending our country. The force is with you. Once your army, aren't your army for life. Even in space. What an awesome view. Jay Gray, NBC News. Johnson Space Center. And one of the four Army astronauts, like I said, will be on this next shuttle mission. It's Colonel Tim Copra. He will be on board Endeavor when it launches on Saturday.